Okay, here we've got question four. Um, as always, if you haven't had a go at the question before, have a go now um, by pausing the video and try to work on a piece of paper to see if you can get it right. Okay, this question is a star question. The star comes in right at the end because you've got to make a deduction based on your working and the whole question. Seven marks overall is a lot of marks for this question. Uh, nearly 10% of an overall exam paper. To start with a nice easy start, we've got 23 out of 50 and we're asked to change that to a percentage. So as always, 23 out of 50 times by 100 gives us the percentage. This means divide, so 23 divided by 50 times by 100 gives us 46 and that is our answer, 46%. Okay, part B. A lot of information here, you've got a table, difficult to know where to start but essentially when you've read it through a few times you've got to figure out that you've got to work out how many of these are going above the speed limit. To do that we need to work out how long it takes somebody going above the speed limit or going at the speed limit to do the 200 meters. So we're told 30 miles per hour is 13.3 meters per second. We know he's timed them over 200 meters. So those are our key points. So 200 divided by 13.3 gives us our time to do 200 meters if you're traveling 30 miles per hour because uh, time is equal to distance divided by speed. Once you have that you can see that this is where the table cuts off here. Now all these above are the speeders. Now, that's not intuitive straight away but if you think about it if you're going faster than 13.3 meters per second or faster than 30 miles per hour you're actually going to take less than 15 seconds. Um, if you're taking between 0 and 5 seconds you're probably going quite fast compared to the 30 miles per hour. So these these guys are all the speeders so there are 4, 7, 9 speeders out of a total of 25 people because you add all these people up there's 25 of them. Um, that's the proportion of people speeding. To change that to percentage so we can compare it with the 46 above, we times by 100. And that gives us 36%. Okay, so 36% of our people are speeding. There was 46% speeding before, so the speeding's reduced. And therefore the answer is, has the proportion of cars been decreased? The answer is yes. Okay, you could put a little bit more work in, uh, writing there to explain that, but essentially that's the idea. It's been reduced, so it's yes. Where are the marks here? Well, there's a, there's a up here. This was your method for this, and there's an the answer mark for the 46. Let's actually change pen color. Down here, there was a method mark for doing this division. There was an answer mark for putting this 15 somewhere in your working a method mark for working out this proportion and then there's an answer mark for getting this percentage and there is a Q1 mark for working out that that was a redu reduction from the previous part and there we go, 7 marks, question 4